Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy VII. And I know I said I was going to do a detour last time. I forgot that you cannot do that yet. Mainly because I usually don't do what, I'm, what I wanted to do at this point in the game. So we have to continue onward. So let's do that. And like uh, Hojo was saying, we must head west. And of course, going west means we have to head up north as well. Go figure. And since there's only one path, and apparently they decided to use this area here as the design for all the dungeons in Final Fantasy 13. No, it's not that bad. I just like making fun of it. Anyway, here's a new enemy. These are Needle Kiss. And since we have uh, them on back attack, we can uh, do some pretty good damage. Physical attacks, no need for magic. They use, uh, I think, a lightning attack, maybe Bolt 2 or something like that. The Bolt Plume there will cast Bolt 2 if uh, you some for some reason need to use it. Shouldn't really need it in this area anyway, so... Okay, yeah, we get some nice, calm, relaxing music here. And what's this guy doing? Yeah, why not? Oh, well, at least we're going in the right direction. Yeah. Oh, well, on we go. I don't even know why that guy's there to confirm that we're going the right way. We don't have another choice. There are no other ways we can go right now. Oh, well. Anyway, that little side thing that I wanted to do with the firing will have to be done a little later. I have to go through a couple areas first. Unfortunately. They just don't allow you to do what I wanted to do yet. And here's a new enemy. Ugh, I'm not even going to try and pronounce that name. Yeah, not worth it. Anyway, you can steal something from it. I'm not sure if it's a useful um, weapon, but it is not going to work for me. These guys are weak to ice, by the way, so once I'm done, I'm just going to... Well, I can use ice, too, and take out that one now. Oh, the diamond thing. There we go. That was easy enough. And just physically attack that one. Use Barrett's limits. And we should be able to take them out relatively easily. There we go. Not bad, not bad. Anyway, I can't remember if that diamond pin is actually useful or not, but that's an item you can steal if you want to. Uh, I haven't used any of my sources yet. I'll do it later. Yeah. I don't think you can check the, uh... No. Well, what, what game could you do that in? Chrono Trigger, you could tech, check the battle damage like that. There are a bunch of side areas that don't lead anywhere, such as going down there and heading up those that stairs there that just leads to a little plateau where you can't do anything. Anyway... Okay, here's another new enemy. The very large bird in the back there is untargetable. Okay, let's use... Well, I can't seem to target it, but use Matcher Magic. You should be able to take out most of these guys. Except the one in the back. Which is... Cockatolus. For some reason they mistranslated cockatrice. I don't know how or why. Anyway, it dies. Probably should have used normal attacks, but oh well. I felt like one-shotting it. Well, two-shotting, I guess. Anyway, there are a lot of items laying around on these tracks. Do not press the circle button yet. You'll want to hold over and continue pressing the circle button to go to one side or the other, which will eventually end you on either the right side or the left side where there are items. Oddly enough, you can fall in different locations and you'll still end up in this same screen with these same two items. So, let's see which one this is. A star pendant. That's three of them that I've got now. Not that I really need immunity to poison. 
And a W machine gun for Bear. Is that actually useful? It's a double material growth weapon. And I... I don't need the elemental materia on... Uh, on my armor anymore, because there's not all that much need for it. So I can throw the elemental materia there. And throw the Shiva materia there. And fire can go there. Ice can go there. Oh, where is the other one I wanted? Uh, the all materia. Can go to Barret. And there we go. Cloud. Uh, where is it? I want to give her Ifrit. And what else do I want to work on? Mm, the Earth Materia. There we go. Basically, I just want to learn things so I can get level 2 spells. Same with the Poison Elemental, or the Poison Materia there. And she doesn't need anything else right now. She's pretty good. Okay, let's continue onward here. And here's another one. So we'll hold over to the other side and start spamming the circle button. There we go. I think I did her. There we go. There's nothing down the middle path, so... Any future ones, I think there's one more of these. You'll should just be able to uh well, wizard staff. I believe that's double growth for Eris there. You should be able to tap the circle button at the start and not bother falling. And we got a turbo weather. There we go. And transform material. Anyway, you don't have to do this, but if you head down here you get a little sequence. Okay, so part of my party is going to rest, and they give us a cute little emoticon, and tell us where to go. Yeah, we don't need to use the PHS. I've got the party I want for now. Next time I find a save point, I'll probably end up switching characters, though. I think I'll pretty close to learning something with uh, Barrett or Tifa there. Gotta have a limit ready sooner or later. And here's another new enemy. These guys are search crowns. You want to take these guys out in one shot because I think they have some kind of a counter. Plus they do a decent amount of damage anyway. And that's going to hurt. Ouch. Okay, so Chocobo should be able to take them out, but in case somebody's left over, I will uh, probably should use Barret to take them out. They need to work on the limits more than Cloud does. Oh well. There we go. A confused Chocobo. Or a confused Moogle. Riding a confused Chocobo, I guess. <laughs> Alright. Restore leveled up. Nice. Now, I think the other two... Anyway, we get cheered on here by Eris there. And let me just check that material real quick. Uh, that one's almost going to level, and that one's almost going to level. Good. I want to keep the restore materials relatively close together, because if I have one character learning Cure 2, I want the other ones to have it too. Alright, enough of those battles. Okay. I don't understand why it's such a tight shed, but okay, sure. Anyway, this triggers... Something. What does it trigger? Oh, it turns the bridge down. Why they couldn't show that on screen, I don't know. But anyway, if you get to this point, you can hear some birds chirping. And you can actually climb up here. And what do we find? Aww, the cute little birdies. Even Barrett thinks they're cute. Look at that. Take the damn treasure. This doesn't affect the dating sequence at all. Your hair looks like a chocolate. Seriously? Really, game? 
<laughs> I forgot she said that. Anyway, you go to tra take the treasure from the children, and who shows up? Mummy, which is just another cockatrice. Uh, let's cast Bio on it, why not? Not too much to worry about. There, it's poison now. It's just a normal enemy, there's nothing really to worry about. There we go, it falls down. And I learned Water Kick. Awesome. That's uh, her level 2. And we get 10 Phoenix Downs for our troubles. For an easy battle, that's definitely worth it. Oh. Wow. Nice jump there, Cloud. What are you, back on the trains in Midgar? Anyway, I want to set Tifa's limit here before I run into another battle. So in order to do that, I don't think I've ever shown this. Select Set. And level 2, and it will reduce your limit gauge to 0. And now we're set on the new one. You can also use check to check out what each of these do. And Tifa's limit is kind of different from other characters' limits. So once uh, she gets her limit, again, I'll show off what I mean by that. Anyway, now that we've lowered the bridge... Awesome! And in that battle, I learned Grenade Bomb, which is Barrett's level 2 limit. Awesome! Within two battles of each other, I love it. Oops. So now that we've uh, lowered the bridge, we can head down here, which is the correct way to proceed. And Barrett's level 2 limit is really useful because it hits all enemies and does quite a bit of damage, too. Anyway, let's head down over here. Even with the arrow here, it, I don't think it shows this off. But, I believe... How do I get in here? There we go. There's a secret area over here. And this one contains a tent, a mine source, and a power source. Okay, so apparently this is uh, this guy's little hole in the ground, literally. Guess that's where he lives. Maybe he's uh, a mine cart guy, or he works on the train tracks, or something. Alright, and the rest of my restore material is leveled up too. Perfect. Now everything's set up quite nicely. Alright, let's see if I can uh, run into one battle on this bridge. Hopefully. If not, I'm going to run backward. Because I think the only enemy you can run into on the bridge here is... The Bomb! And... What's the best way to take them off? I'm not sure if they're susceptible to that or not. I don't think I've tried that in a long time. Are they? Nope. All right, let's cast Bio and hit it with Ice 2. And of course, like all good bombs, it grows big and big, and then all of a sudden it goes boom. Let's we'll see if we can take it out for... Oh, look at that. Not too hard. Barret's out of MP, though. All right. Um, let's see. Have I learned the other one yet? No. I am... Well, let's go to the town first. I'll do what I was... I'm going to grind uh, Cloud's Limit so that he just uses his Blade Beam a couple times so that he learns his next one. Because that's... Uh, I'm going to want that for the next area. He's back? I don't remember ever being here before. What's going on here? Oh, Barrett seems to know what's going on. And Barrett's taking abuse from these guys. What the hell's going on here? Walking death sentence, huh? Hmm. Apparently this is North Coral, his, uh, or Coral, or however you want to pronounce it, his hometown. And now it's a garbage heap. They haven't said it's his hometown, but it's implied and confirmed later. I'm sorry. And... Techno Freak? That doesn't sound like Barrett at all. Anyway. Time is uh, kind of caught up on me weird here, and I'm running very low on it. So, 
I'm going to end the video here, and next time we will explore this town and continue on to wherever we're going next. Alright, I'll see you guys next time.